Hi, it's Bev, and today in my Wanna Work Out Better series, we're going to talk about growing your chest. Um, now, we all want to put up a better front, right? And guys always want to have a really good set of pecs. And girls, eh, you know, they don't know whether they should or not. Well, believe me, it brings the girls up, okay? So you want to do it. Um, First of all, before we get started, let's talk about two different types of exercises. Push exercises and pull exercises. So push, all push exercises will work the front of your body and all pull exercises will work the back of your body. So that's important to know. Um, and push exercises, uh, you know, when you're pushing weight away from you, like a dumbbell press or a bench press or whatever, that's a push. Uh, even if you're pushing your body weight away from the floor, like in a push-up, that's going to be a push exercise. So all those kinds of things are for the front of your body or your pecs. Uh, a pull exercise is anytime you pull a weight towards you, like a cable row or anything like that, you're going to be working your back, okay? So, um, to really understand what I'm talking about, I hope that you've looked at my first video because that will make all of this make more sense. Uh, and that's want to work out better. So go there and understand how muscles work in terms of their attachments. Um, so today, let's talk about your back. I mean, there are many muscles there. I think there's three or four. I've forgotten them all. But the main ones are your pecs, right? And there's a pex major and a pex minor. Now, the funny thing is some people think that if it's a pex major, it's in the higher part of your pex, and a minor is in the lower part, but that's not actually true. Minor means it's under the major, okay? Your major has two heads, and it is the largest of the two pec muscles, and the minor has three heads, uh, but it's it's smaller than the, uh, than the major. Um, now, the pecs, um, you know, when, whenever you do a push exercise, you're going to be working all of your pecs. You really cannot isolate one of these two. Um, so what we'll do is just talk about push exercises, okay? And um, because they're all going to work all of your pecs to some degree. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't add more stress uh, to different areas of your pecs. And you can do that in different ways. So you can change the incline of your bench. So if you, you, you can work on an incline bench, a flat bench, or a decline bench. An incline bench will tend to hit more of the upper area of the pecs, although all of them, uh, the middle area, all of them. The lower area will tend to concentrate on the lower part of the pecs, although it will work all of them, okay? Now, what it, it kind of is common sense. If you think of forces and gravity, um, when you're holding the uh, dumbbells or the bench press up, where is it in relation to your chest? Because that is how you're going to figure out whether it's working the uh, more so the upper the middle or the lower part of your chest kind of makes sense, right? Um, and I would say, uh, you know, it, the upper area, when you do an incline bench, like anytime you do a press, let's back up a little bit. Anytime you do a press, you're going to be working your pecs, you're going to be working the front or the anterior part of your delts, and you're going to be working the back of your arms or the triceps. And you can change how much stress is put on those three different areas. So if you're inclining your bench, you're going to bring your shoulders into play much more, okay? And so it, this is actually going to be harder to lift the same weight than these two, all right? It's a little easier on your pecs, a little harder on your uh, delts. Contrary, the decline bench is not going to have much shoulder as much shoulder activity in it, but it's going to have uh, a lot of lower pecs, right? I mean, if you have shoulder issues or you're getting over an injury, you're better off to do decline for a while. Um, and this works them all. So another thing you can do 
well, you know, instead of the default uh, grab on the bent, on the uh, barbell, if you change your grip, if you bring it closer or you do a reverse grip, you're going to bring the triceps into play more and you're going to see it's really, really hard. Okay, just, just some notes on that. Um, so let's look at the different exercises that you can undertake to work your chest. Now I did mention presses and you can do them with um, dumbbells, barbells, you can use a Smith machine, you know, um, and you can do presses with, with the, uh, the bench in any of these three positions, right? Uh, you can do push-up variations, I mentioned that earlier, uh, dumbbell flies, uh, cable crossovers or flies or presses. Cable machines are great because you have tension all the time. There's no rest. Uh, pec deck machine and dumbbell pullovers. Now I want to mention on, um, on the flies and the pec deck, uh, when you set, you have to set your elbows and then you, you move your, your weights. If you move your elbows, okay, you're going to make it a lot easier. Leave your, don't, as I say in the videos, only move the, uh, the joints that you need to move. So in a press, you're only going to be moving at the shoulder on a fly, not the elbows, okay? Um, so I would say do at least three exercises, four to six sets, 10 to 15 reps. You could do it two to three times a week. Um, what are the rules? In, in these exercises where your back is against the bench or against the pad in a pec deck, um, keep your shoulders pressed into, kind of against the bench. Keep your shoulders back and down and then do your flies or your presses. Uh, like push the weight with that down and, down and back, your shoulders, as long as you can. You're going to see it's a hell of a lot harder and it's a hell of a lot harder on your pecs, okay? And what is the idea, right? To lift a lot of weight or to lift the amount of weight that makes them work really hard. So leave your ego at the door when you get to the gym, okay? Uh, and you can also get stronger, as I said, by gradually increasing the weight that you use. So focus on full range of motion. Um, have good control, have perfect form, and... Uh, Go for a maximum contraction, right? Like if you're on the pec deck, don't just go to here. Go right over here so you bring your arms right together. At the last minute, your shoulders are going to end up coming up a little bit. That's okay. But until that point, keep them down. Anyway, hope this helps you, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.